chapter 1063, Egghead Island arc. So we continue from where we left off, where Luffy and the gang were talking to Vegapunk Atlas, where the Sunny gang were talking to Lilith. Picking up the cover story from last week, where somebody left off Chocolate Town all frozen. In this week, we see that Crackers, Frozen, and Brulee is crying. Apparently, Pudding has been kidnapped. This is further proof that this was Aokiji that froze Chocolate Town and that Blackbeard Pirates pulled up to kidnap Pudding. Why? Because Pudding has the ability to read Poneglyphs with her awakened third eye. Moving on over, the chapter is titled My Only Family. With the help of a machine, Luffy, Chopper, Jinbei, and Bonnie change the futuristic clothes, except for Jinbei who changes for like a Hawaiian outfit for whatever reason. They meet Kuma with a police uniform, who is over here wearing sunglasses and has like these funny looking shoulders. A little different from the real Kuma actually. In fact, this Kuma starts attacking all four of them, and Luffy just jumps in ready to attack, but Bonnie stops him. Unlike last chapter, this time it's official. Bonnie just comes out and says to Luffy, Kuma is my father and my only family. We just see like this image of a younger Kuma holding Bonnie as a child. But now is where the real meat of the chapter starts. Oda decided to treat us well this chapter. We see somewhere else out in sea. Law has been ambushed by Blackbeard of all people. Blackbeard brought with him Doc Q, Van Ogre, Jesus Burgess, and obviously Doc Q comes with his horse looking thing, the stronger. And all of them now actually have the power of a devil fruit. Jesus Burgess's power is the Riki Riki no Mi and he has like this ridiculous amount of strength. Funnily enough, Doc Q has the power of the Shiku Shiku no Mi. It's the ability to just make anybody sick. Van Auger has the Wapu Wapu no Mi, where he is able to warp people. While stronger, Doc Q's horse has the ability of the Uma Uma no Mi model Pegasus, which is a mythical Zoan, by the way. Law tries to escape to a nearby island, but Van Auger teleports Jesus Burgess onto that island. And Jesus Burgess just pulls up, grabs a huge mountain, and just throws it at Law. Blackbeard pulls up on top of Doc Q and his Pegasus. Doc Q uses his powers to turn Law into a woman, but the latter just breaks out of it using his hockey. So Law reiterates that a strong hockey can counter a double fruit no matter what, and that he learned that in his battle against Big Mom and Kaido. So after that, Blackbeard just pulls up in front of Law and he's all like, I was wondering which one of the three captains from Wano was gonna cross paths with me first. And the chapter ends off with Blackbeard and Law ready to fight, with Blackbeard exclaiming, Kaido must have had one of them, so I will take all your road poneglyphs. And then Law's over here like, yo, pull up bro, I'm ready. Winner takes it all. And the chapter just ends off there with Law's state not looking good. But on the bright side, there's no break next week. Anyways, there's something funny going on here. This has nothing to do with any of the incidents that happen in the chapter, but instead, it's really just there's something being sold underneath when it comes to Blackbeard. There's a lot of links going on to sword members with Blackbeard. Aokiji is speculated to be a sword member. Law is speculated to be a sword member. And Blackbeard just also kidnapped Kobe. So what I'm thinking is going on here is for some reason, Blackbeard wants sword members. I don't think Blackbeard pulled up to simply get the road poneglyphs or Law's devil fruit. Instead, I think he's gonna kidnap Law. Law is gonna be reunited with Kobe and Aokiji for whatever reason. And if I had to guess Blackbeard's next move, it would probably be X Drake as he is also a sword member. Although if we learned anything throughout this series, it's to never try to predict Blackbeard because he is simply unpredictable. Just like how nobody predicted that he would go after Boa Hancock's fruit. Anyways, this chapter was amazing. Are you kidding me? This egghead arc is great and everything, but the novelty sort of wore off for me already. I just want to get out of there and just want to see what's going on in the outside world. I want to see what's going on with the warlords, Blackbeard, Shanks and Dragon, although whatever, I kind of gave up on those two. Like I honestly don't care anymore because we're not going to see them until like the last chapter at this point. Either way, Blackbeard is making his move. He probably grabbed the Poneglyph from Big Mom and now he's grabbing it from Kaido through Law. So somehow he's probably going to get his hands on Zoe's Poneglyph, whether he goes to Zoe directly or he gets it from the Straw Hats. Unless actually Law happens to have the Zoe Poneglyph. I don't remember whether he does or not. But if Law has the Zoe Poneglyph, then Blackbeard already has that when it's over. <laughs> Anyways, the common question of the day is, is Law gonna make it for the final war or is this it for Law? Is it over? Please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and have a good one.